you. Who the f are you anyway? Ben, the Uber driver. So the real Ben Phillips, he has he has that quality of that you can imagine people would be wanting to open up to him. And you can tell he's he's an accumulator of stories. There are def definitely elements of Ben's character that are very similar to me. I didn't spend too much time with Ben Phillips before shooting. I uh, I did uh, do a lot of research. I looked at his blog. Yeah, I mean, he's he's interested in other people, which you know, I'm always kind of fascinated about other people and kind of what's their story and, and what's been going on with them. Well, reading the blog, I just really liked uh, this feeling of kind of peeking in on strangers' lives. And we're quite similar in a lot of ways. A lot of similarities, pretty easy going, kind of, I'm always laughing even when things aren't funny and I think Ben's kind of like that in the show as well. So yeah, there's a lot of similarities. So yeah, he's a unique character, but it was it was great to kind of meet him and really it wasn't kind of, kind of going, uh, now we need to work that into the show. I felt like Tom had already kind of Tom already had all those elements already cooking. I would describe Ben as someone who's going through that rite of passage between being a guy in his 20s without responsibility to being a guy about to be in his 30s with about as much responsibility as you can have. When we were designing Ben, you know, and this is Tom in, 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 con in sort of conversation with us, we knew that we needed to create a sort of something that Ben wanted, you know, something that was a bit not quite working that needed to sort of progress through the, the um, six episodes. He has to reevaluate his choices and, and where his life's going. Is having a baby and I think his discovery is like figuring out how to be a good person not just for the sake of having people pat you on the back or giving you five stars but because it's the right thing to do. Sam Cotton plays Ben and we, we auditioned about like 130 guys for the role of Ben. And the first audition we received was Sam Cotton. Watching him on set for the first time, he is a, he's very understated he's, in his style of acting. So I watched him and he had these kind of furtive glances from the, the rear vision mirror to the passenger beside him. Then he had this look of kind of wry wonderment on his face. He brings to Ben in the show is, um, a subtlety and an ability, like he's very empathetic. S Sam Cotton is kind of perfect for this role. I, I mean, I don't want to speak about, I don't know Sam like personally that well, but um, I think he, he brings like at once like a gentleness to the character that I think was really necessary for getting these strangers to open up to him. But also he like, he has way more of a backbone than I ever envisioned this character having. <laughs> Maybe because I based it on myself. <laughs> ben is quite similar to me in a lot of ways. I haven't had to go full method on this on this role. Um, he's very approachable. I think he has to be. That's why passengers feel comfortable in opening up to him. He just ultimately is is the show. Like he just who he is as a person kind of encapsulates that character, obviously, but also just the the show and the tone of the show. I do have a cameo on the show. It's a small cameo. I mean, I've got one, one word of dialogue, but that still counts. And he told us stories on the day, because uh, he's still doing some Uber driving. He told us some stories when we had lunch that you're kind of like, they have a hook. His stories kind of have a hook to them and you kind of go, that's brilliant. That could definitely be a series two, a series two episode.